Clive from Finale Guitar in Sheffield, um, the friendly guitar shop. You join me on Folk Friend, your one-stop shop for Celtic backing guitar tutorials. If you want loads more Celtic backing guitar tutorials, I'm sure you know this by now, but if you're new to the channel, go and check out folkfriend.co.uk. There are hundreds of my videos on there for free for you to go and look at. Today, I'm going to be responding to numerous requests for a demonstration of the faith pattern when I first published um, my first book, Backing Guitar Techniques for Traditional Celtic Music, if you can say it all in one breath, then you can have a free copy. Um, then I um, said in the text that there was going to be a strumming patterns folder, and somewhere over the um, updates that I did over the years, that folder got lost in the audio. So I've demonstrated all the other patterns in the strumming patterns section on the videos page of folkfriend.co.uk. But the faith real pattern, which I often refer to, um, I never got round to doing. So I'm going to rectify that today. Here's what the pattern sounds like when it's used for Irish reels. <laughs> So it's a much funkier um, pattern for strumming along with reels than the standard kind of... That kind of thing that you see a lot of people doing. If you want to get your head around the faith pattern, the first thing to think about is um, your strumming action. And basically, for any tune in 4-4, there's a very simple principle that all good strumming patterns follow. It's that your hand always goes down on the downbeats and comes up in between them. So if you've got a bar that goes one, two, three, four, your hand's going to go one and two and three and four and. And you could hit the strings on every um, movement if you wanted to, and that would make a fairly functional strumming pattern, although a bit boring, something like this. <laughs> Now if you did want to play that along with a tune, it would make it sound a lot more uh, rhythmically definite if you were to weight the ones. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Something like that. And that would be um, okay to, to start out with. What I'm going to do now to take that and turn it into the faith pattern is I'm going to number every single one of the quavers or eighth beats. So every single movement of my hand, be it a down or an up, is going to get a number. So a bar is now going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. The faith pattern is two bars long. It takes up two measures of, of the tune. Um, and what you do is you wait. In the first block of four quavers, you wait one. In the second block, you wait three. In the third block you wait three, and in the fourth block you wait one again. One, three, three, one. So you've got one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, Once you've got the hang of the basic 1 3 3 1 pattern, the next thing that you want to do to get it really feeling funky is to add in some palm mutes. And the way that you do this is you kind of cup your hand, so you've got like a cup in there, and rather than strumming across the strings like this, you're going to strum vertically down onto the strings like this. The thing that you want to do is hit the strings with your plectrum and end up with your plectrum about an inch below the bottom of the strings at the same time as your hand hits the strings with the side 
So, like that. You're pretty much twisting your hand as if you're turning a door handle clockwise. Every time there's a downstroke in the 1-3-3-1 pattern, you're going to mute it like that. And you'll notice that upstrokes can't be muted like that. It's impossible to strum upwards and cup your hand at the same time. <laughs> well, I can't do it anyway. Uh... So what happens is that the downstrokes come out muted and the upstrokes come out sounding like these little trebly flicks. And that is where the faith pattern comes from. That's pretty much it. So that concludes my beginner's guide to the faith pattern. I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, I will be back soon with more information on my forthcoming book about how to play by ear in Dadgad. Uh, hopefully that will be out in time for Christmas 22. So subscribe to the YouTube channel, the little bell and the subscribe button down there will get you free access to all my free um, Celtic guitar tutorials as soon as they're posted. You can also find all my previous videos on folkfriend.co.uk forward slash videos and you'll also find all my other books and various products there as well. Before I sign off today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this guitar. This is the nicest acoustic guitar which I've played which costs under a grand. This um, 75 CE Jumbo from Turner is the nicest guitar for under a grand that I've played in a very 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 long time. And it's only 550 quid brand new, which is nuts because it's got a solid spruce top, a solid rosewood back and sides, a very nicely um, slim profile mahogany neck. It sounds amazing. And it's got a Fishman Isis Plus pickup in it as well with the output sensibly hidden in the strap pin. So I really love this guitar. I think it's great. Um, Turner Guitars, I'm a big fan. You probably haven't heard of them. They're local. They're based in Doncaster. Um, I definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking for a new acoustic. You can find lots of them on my website, finaleguitar.co.uk. Have a look on the shop page there for more info about Turner, they're really great. And you can find this guitar um, linked for sale in the description through our online shop as well. So do ch check them out, um, and I will be back very, very soon for lots more Celtic guitar tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you soon. <laughs>